Hello YouTube, RPG John here. Welcome back to another episode of our tutorial series. On this episode, we're going to discuss how to be able to use your pre-order bonus DLC in the non-Steam version of RPG Maker MV. First, go to the folder that you downloaded all of your files to. You should have had these five folders sent to you in your email for your pre-order DLC bonus. Once you have that folder, you're going to want to open the folder that has your game saved to it. For me, I go to Computer, Documents, Games, and then the current game you're working on. We'll do test for this video. Once you are here, you're going to need to one by one drag files from your DLC folder over to your game folder. If all your DLC is not in the same folder, make a new folder on your desktop and download each of these folders into your new folder from your email. Once you have both of these folders ready, click Base Resource, choose Audio, and then mimic that option on the other folder. Choose Audio here. Again, we'll see similar folders, and we'll do a similar effect, clicking Background Music and Background Music. Copy all of these files to your game folder. Highlight each file, Control C, or right-click and copy, then click this folder, Control V, or right click and paste. Once you have that done, go back on both folders. Repeat the process for each folder, going to BGS in one folder, then BGS in the other, highlighting each file and copy it to the other. Once you have all this done, you go to images. Continue to open corresponding folders, such as Battlebax 1, Battlebax 1, and copying all your DLC to your game folder. You will do this for each folder with two exceptions. When you're ready to transfer your plugins, click your plugin folder and the JS folder on your game. Then click the plugins folder on your game. Here is where you will copy all your plugins. Double click the DLC plugin and copy all your DLC plugins to your game. If at any point you are asked to replace or copy all files, Simply check the box to choose the same option for each item and click skip. Back, back, back to plugins. Then you will repeat the same process with your RPG Maker web plugins. You will see several folders here. You will need to click each folder and copy and paste the plugins from your DLC to your game. You will need to go back on your DLC folder, choose a new folder, and copy those plugins to your JS folder. Repeat this process until each of these folders have all their plugins saved to your game's JS folder. Once you have all of this done, exit your folders and go back to your RPG Maker software. Now you will be able to see all your DLC in game, such as new faces to use for your characters and new title screens to use for your game. To use your plugins, you want to click the plugin tab or the jigsaw puzzle. Double click any of these rows and click the name. You will see all your new plugins here. Clicking one of them should tell you what it does here and its parameters here. This is the end of this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to show your support. If you have an idea of what you would like me to make a tutorial about, please leave a comment about it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.